The OneRoof client can display all the programs and links in your location in one easy feature. This is called the Launchpad. It is on by default, but if the Launchpad has been disabled, you can log into the main control station, then enable the Launchpad in the Location Configuration area. In the Client Station, you can edit the Launchpad by clicking the Admin button, choosing to administer the workstation, and then by entering an administrator username and password. Next, click on the Launchpad Setup button. The Launchpad Program Administration screen will allow you to set up program groups and buttons for all the applications, games, and website links in your location. OneRoof software gives you the option of creating buttons in basic mode or a more advanced mode. For this example, we'll use the basic mode. Start by choosing the program group in Area 1 using the Program Group dropbox. In Area 2, click the Add button to create a new button. We'll be creating a button for the game Civilization 5. Click the Caption button to name the new button we are creating. You can also choose an icon to make the game more recognizable. Choose the color of the background of the button area, or select a different font. The most important part of the button setup is to choose whether the button is a program or a website. After you have chosen, simply add the URL or select the path to the program using the three dots at the end of the field. Next, add a program description which can be visible when the customer clicks the button while using the launch pad. An image for the program can be added in Area 3 to show a preview of the application before it is launched. The default size for this image is 300 by 225 pixels. It is very important to never click the Show Advanced Options link until you have saved your changes. If you do, your changes will be lost. Here is a quick preview of what your new button will look like in the launch pad. In the launch pad administration screen, you can also choose to sort the buttons alphabetically or by choosing a button then using the arrows to move the button up or down. Here is a preview of what the launch pad will look like with the button moved around. Notice that since we moved the button to the top of that subgroup, the icon is now the header. If you wish to use more advanced options, you can select the button at any time and choose to show advanced options. Here you can add an ESRB rating to restrict a person based on the age listed in their account, enable CD key management, disable the taskbar while this program is running, or to disable the floating timebar while this program is running. The last two are very useful while running games which take full control of the screen. That is how to set up a button on the launch pad. Please visit OneRoof.com if you have any further questions, and thank you for using OneRoof software.